I forget the right name for them. I think it's spinner hubcaps or spinners. You know what I'm talking about, it's when you have that cap on the wheel. So let's try making us a set of those. Hey there, fellows. So look here. We've got this magnificent car at our disposal. It belongs to a buddy of ours named Ivan, who owns a Volga wagon and also this Lexus, with mad style on 22-inch rims. Anyway, so we were having a chat with him recently, right? And we came to the conclusion that his car is awesome and everything, but there is one little thing missing, something that would really complement the overall style. I forget the right name for them. I think it's spinner hubcaps or spinners. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about, it's when you have that cap on the wheel. That stays in place when the car is rolling. They make for a very neat look. So let's try making us a set of those. Let's do this. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. Okay, fellas, check this out. We've shown you how these were being made. This is the shape we've decided to go with. This one is a tester, as you can see. And it hasn't been polished, unlike the rest which have been. To keep them from getting scratched, they're wrapped in protective film. Here you can see a bit of an etching effect, which is easy to do when you've got a laser. You've got these nice sort of pinstripes. Yeah, they've done a really good job with these. Right, what else we got? In order to secure these to the wheels... Well, they've quite obviously got center caps in the middle, right? Held on by a couple of screws. Here I have some washers that we've machined, which we'll be marking up and drilling, and they're gonna be bolted to the wheels using the same tiny screws. Here we'll have an axis, and that's gonna be wearing a bung. I mean a bearing. The bungs are going to be welded to the caps. And then? I mean, these bearings spin so easily. The caps have a bit of weight to them, so I don't expect them to move around all that much. Well, at least I hope that'll be the case. You'll notice some spot welds on this one, from when we were doing some tests. We've test fitted a bearing to this one, and it spins very easily. This is the cap that we didn't polish, that we made specifically to experiment with and to work out how it's all going to be configured. So now we're going to continue figuring stuff out, welding, attaching, drilling stuff, and getting everything ready.
Okay, so here is where we're at with this. These are some lovely spinners. Now, they work very well while the car is stationary. This looks really good. Nice and trendy. Now, this isn't a particularly popular thing in Russia. Unlike the United States, where a bunch of people have wheels like these. But, I mean, what does it really matter? What we need to do now is try them out. See how good a job we've done. I reckon we've done all right. These are heavy, the bearings are very slippery. So these caps should stay put while the car moves, and while the wheel itself rotates. But we won't know for sure until we try them. So why don't we get out onto the road and see what they look like? Okay, we're ready to slowly roll out and be on our way. Now I am gonna take it easy. We're on pavement. I really want to see what it looks like. But since I'm the one driving the car, I can't. Okay, fellas, so after going for a ride, well, when you're driving the car, you do appreciate that it probably does look sweet, but people did seem to be a bit cold. But then it's one thing to be in a double-decker car or one that's upside down, that you immediately notice. But this, not everybody does. I think those little punks on the corner did, though. Yeah, some people were paying attention, they were like, whoa, holy cow. So, yeah. That was cool. We gotta hang these on the... on the Wall of Fame. So hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. This really wasn't hard to do at all. Anybody can make something similar. In whatever style they like, for any type of wheel, black, white, red, yellow, green, violet, whatever. It's not difficult at all. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.